I see this get asked a lot on the forums and the Facebook groups. What's the best way to export multiple versions of the same mix? So in my opinion, the best way to export multiple versions is to start with the highest quality version, render that, and then use the batch processor to export multiple versions. So whether you need the 16-bit version of it or a MP3 version of it, if you start with the highest quality version, you can almost instantly make those other versions. So let's jump into this. I'm just going to render this project and I'll put it on the desktop just so it's easy to find. I'll give it the project name. I'll export a 24-bit WAV file with the entire project as my range. So this is gonna take a minute or two to render. And by the way, we're actually doing a sale at the Reaper blog. So until the end of the year, until January 1st, 2020, we've got a sale. You can save 10 bucks off of the um, original Mixing in Reaper series videos, my new video tools course, the Reaper WRB uh, web remote builder, five bucks off of that, or $15 off of the Mixing in Reaper bundle. If you don't have all these courses already, then there's a great deal happening uh, for the rest of the month. You can find this page at reaperblog.net slash xmas2019. It'll take you right to this page. You can get those discount codes and then use them on the course page. Now that this mix is rendered, I've got the 24-bit the WAV file right here. I'm gonna go up to the file menu in Reaper and choose batch file item converter. And we'll just drop in this 24-bit WAV file. Uh, the file name will be source. Uh, so it uses the same file name. I'm gonna put it into the same folder and we're going to add in, uh, let's do 16-bit as this. And because we're going from 24-bit down to 16-bit, you do want to dither this. And we'll just set this to 16-bit right there. Click on convert all. There, it just took seconds instead of two, three minutes to render the project again. And we can easily do an MP3 version of this or AIFF or any other format you want. Render this with highest quality MP3 settings. And we'll just change this file name to, I don't know, lossy or something like that. Or streaming, let's do that, streaming. And render that. And there we go. That took an extra maybe 30 seconds to do two new versions rather than another six minutes. And yeah, and I've got them all in the same place with the file names that I like, and it's really easy and convenient. So rather than exporting your mix three different times, potentially having those mixes be different each time with like randomized drum samples or, or humanization of the MIDI and things like that, I see a lot of people overlooking this batch item processor and it's such a convenient tool to use in Reaper. And if you wanted, you can even run everything through an effects chain. You can save presets for um, for your render exports and things like that. So it's a really great Reaper feature and I don't think people are using it enough. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Mm -hmm.